Sir, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo's Tribe. So this is a small uh, love bonus reading for Virgo, Summer, Rabbit, and Venus when it comes to love. If you are looking for a more in-depth reading, then you can go check out your December reading that has already been posted. Keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, you can always book a personal reading with me to find out what your story is, or you can check your moon, rising, and Venus sign. Universe spirits and guys, what messages do you have for Virgo when it comes to love? Okay. We got harmony. Ooh, the lovers. It's always good energy. Six of Cups wanted to come out. In case it does come back out, I wanted to say it. Okay. Obstacles and challenges. So you and the person, you and your divine counterpart, we got discontent and boredom at the bottom of the day. So you and your divine counterpart could be having some issues or some bumps in the road to get over. There's love. There's a decision that needs to be made. Look, the lovers again. The harmony card is the lovers. So there is definitely love here. This is the person that you're supposed to be with. Well, this is a person <clears throat> that's coming in for you. Then we got the Wheel of Fortune. No, that's right. Clarify harmony. Somebody wants to fight for this, though. Somebody want to fight for it. Okay. We got the Ace of Cups, and we have the Five of uh, Coins. So there is love here, but somebody's not really receiving exactly what they want. Somebody is still feeling, it's, it's still something missing. Maybe somebody's not expressing the love that they do have for somebody. And somebody's just feeling like, you know, I'm, I'm feeling left out in the cold. Or somebody's just getting the cold shoulder. Okay. Okay. So we got the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody not, so, and then we have under there, under here, we got the Queen of Cups. So somebody was not really expressing how they feel. We got the Six of Swords and the Devil card. There's a part of love here, but there's some codependency or addiction issues in this connection as well. Somebody feel like they want to move away from that. There could also be some sneakiness going on with somebody with the Seven of Swords here. Definitely. Yeah. So clarify obstacles and challenges. There's something blocking somebody's emotions. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's definitely confused. We have the Seven of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Page of Coins, and the Four of Coins. So, some, like I said, somebody's not 
really opening up and somebody's confused on how somebody feels. But this person want to plant their seed here. <laughs> this person feels that this is where they want to be. You could live with this person, but this person feels confused on somebody's emotions because somebody pulls back, which something that that's what gets in the way of this connection. There's definitely love here, though. Yeah, this could be a victory if somebody opened up their mouth and tell how they feel with the six of wands. Calling in your soulmate. Somebody might feel like if they don't open up and tell how they feel, that somebody might walk away. That's why somebody's getting bored here. Because somebody's not really getting what they want in this connection. unrequited love and this is what's making it unrequited because somebody's not i mean like there's attraction here attraction came out and we have release your ex we have codependency behind it some of you guys somebody needs to release somebody and that could be why they're not opening up so much because they still have somebody else on their mind do you have spirit for Virgo okay that was quick don't stop okay. peaceful resolution is at the bottom of the deck remain positive this can turn around Perfect timing. We have no. In the near future. So this could definitely turn around. If somebody opens up and tell how they feel. Because somebody's getting bored here. But somebody still wants to plant their seed here. There, there needs to be a conversation. Honestly. What closing message do you have for Virgo? Summarizing in this. Okay. We have new moon in Cancer. You are luck. You are love. You and your loved ones are safe. So this could definitely turn around, but somebody needs to express how they really feel. Yeah, new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. Then we got maxing. I said maxing. Waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum. Somebody gonna get some type of lightning. You. This can turn around if you want to. I don't feel like anybody should be walking away at this time. I feel like it just need a conversation that needs to be said. That needs to be discussed. So that is all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you like the book of personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. <clears throat> Keep in mind, if you book a personal reading, then your reading will be ready within 24 hours after you book. Um, I will still be putting my uh, mom's website down in the description box below as well for her nail strip line. Go check that out. There is new restocks over there. So, so you can purchase. And my link 
for my Instagram is down in the description box as well. So go ahead over there, check that out, and do not forget to hit the follow button. I do readings over there as well, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I want to get notified when I upload new videos, okay? So I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, poo-poos.